Reggie Middleton heeft als... Reggie Middleton. Reggie Middleton. <laughs> Reggie Middleton. He doesn't mince his words. We're talking about Reggie Middleton. He's got a lot of interesting things to say. Look, Aaron, look, I first literally stumbled on Reggie Middleton a few years ago when I was researching general growth properties. He was so far ahead of everybody and so detailed. And then he started warning about Bear Stearns and Lehman. Well, he was so far ahead of the curve, I actually thought he was nuts. And Reggie Middleton, editor of the Boom Boss blog. And I should note that Reggie put a note out to his clients. I'm not sure the exact price point on Apple, but it was doggone near the top, saying, get out of the stock. It was a great call. Hey, Reggie, let's talk tech. Entrepreneurial investor and analyst Reggie Middleton, who nailed Facebook, by the way. It is time to crown the champion, the winner of the first ever CNBC Stocks Draft. Yay! Reggie Middleton! Google Glass is easily Google's iPhone, okay? If Google Glass succeeds, it changes the way computing is done. You no longer use cell phones, notebooks, laptops. You walk around, your computing experience is implied virtual reality. It's worn on your eyes. It's a total different way of doing things. One solution is to have the video feed from this to be available to everybody who wants it. Okay. Right. You can do it for teaching purposes, but, but more importantly, from a supervision point of view, the expert at home mm -hmm. can supervise what's going on. Make sure the drugs are being used properly. The right. Home expert in another part of the building can't get there you know, for whatever reason. Right. Right. Can't get there. Right. Now, if I'm doing it and I'm having trouble. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing the glasses, and you're seeing what I'm doing. You can say, well, pull more this way, pull more that way, pull up, pull out, put pressure here. You, the supervisor can be at home helping the therapist, the hospitalist, you know, mm -hmm. adjust to what they're doing. Right. Because the person at home, the expert, doesn't have the time to get into the Okay. Do now, what's the difference between this and the other one? This more of a, it's a color, a more colorful screen. And it uses a different. It's a high resolution, basically. Yeah. Just a higher resolution screen. Uh huh. Let me see. It's not that high resolution either. So, yeah, that that screen is still. Color, I don't remember. It was color, it was just lower. Yeah. That that's still the sub twenty dollar screen price. Yeah. And that's uh right. yeah. I'll show you. Get them right off of eBay. Yeah, to put this in the perspective, this screen, this right. is uh five and a half inches, this is ten eighty P. This is a uh, second highest resolution available. The highest resolution is 4,000K. Those are $20,000, okay? This is 1080p. This is the screen that you have, you know, in your home theater, okay? I think this is about $33 in bulk. So you buy individually, yeah. charge about 50.
So. See it. And then just push the tube down with your right hand as much as through the hole. That's not on the Push this down straight. Push, oh, okay. Right, you're I see. You see if it goes in. Push straight down. Go in. Keep pushing. Good in. Thank you. Yep. There you're in. Okay. First intonation. <laughs> and there's on video on top of it. Now the um Next door, I'll show you the more expensive version of it. How much is that? Now, what is this called again? King Vision. King, King Vision. Vision. Okay. Common sense, right? Now, the picture. Right. So it's like... That's the hole you want to get it through? Mm-hmm. Right. How much is that? 800 bucks, mm -hmm. 18 bucks. Disposable, not. Why is this $800? Because it can be. The screen is less than a dollar. Yeah. And this, the camera, screen and camera and the battery. The benefit to be able to see the output of the scope directly yeah, so, in your line of vision. So if I'm supervising somebody, mm -hmm. okay, and if I, if you, you're saying you, you, you can get rid of the monitor, you have something like this with a light source, right? Right, and then you can transmit what I'm seeing. But the problem here, yeah, I have my glasses on, mm -hmm. I'm doing that, and you're tra it's transmitting from here to my glasses, right? It's also transmitting from here to your glasses. You could transmit from here to glass, or you can share. Let me just share optimally wirelessly because this should not be necessary. No, I'm saying you need, let's say, a little power source, okay? Right, mm -hmm. it's an expensive thing, it's 20 bucks, right. Mm -hmm. I go in, I take a look. Now I'm not seeing anything. I mean, this is the indirect look. Right. My glass shows me what I'm seeing at the tip here, what I've right. seen in the monitor. Right. My glass shares this with you at home. Right. And you make sure I do it the right way. And right. Show me the adjustments to make. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Now you get rid of the monitor, you get rid of the expense. Mm -hmm. Right. And this is sort of the way you work, that you sort of compare balance sheets with reality. Yes, that's what I do. Not just balance sheet. I, I compare reality with the, the economic reality with the reality that's reported on paper through companies and through the media, etc. When there's a discrepancy, I attempt to take advantage of the discrepancy. Um, and that's the discrepancy on the upside or the downside. Uh, I'm not very emotional. I, I dislike it when I listen to the financial media and I hear terms such as you're pessimistic or you're optimistic. If you're pessimistic or optimistic, you'll probably end up being broke very soon. The key is to be realistic. I mean, not to be impolite, but what makes you so special that they all want to read your blog? I don't know if special is a word um, to use. I am very objective and I don't have inherent conflict of in conflicts of interest because I don't have clients that I deal with as a principal or an agent, um, I can step on toes and be objective, objective and uh, offensively honest.